Don't stress. Don't overthink. Don't try to force it. Be grateful for what you have. Be, be faithful in your actions each day, just like Indiana Jones. Be faithful in your actions. Take action fully. Hold the image of your dream in your mind and in your heart. And do every day what you can to its best degree because doors will open for you that way. As Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. So I think I finally, after a year and a half of just being idle, found my next goal and desire. It's to be a plane pilot. I am passionate about it. I know I'm capable of doing it. I got the grades and knowledge needed to start the course, but it's very expensive. The average price of the course is around 80,000 pounds. I have studied in the uni for a year and a, and, a, and a half and then left because I wasn't resonating with the field anymore. And like most people, I had to take a student loan for that. Hence, I don't think any bank would lend me 80,000 pounds with, with student loan debt. <laughs> me being 21 years old, not having a house to leverage and not having a perfect credit score since I not only, uh, since I only not long ago got a credit card. I found one place where they offer finance, but it would fall under the category of getting only up to 50% coverage for the course. That means I still need $40,000 cash if I do get that 50%. I'm not sure about what to do because doing an average job with a wage just above minimum, it would take me a long time to save that amount and I feel I would be wasting my years doing it. I live alone and do not take any money from my mom because she's struggling and working hard herself. I do not want to be a hindrance. My father passed away a long time ago, so now I'm supporting myself. Any feedback or advice is appreciated. So the very first thing I want to offer you is that a lot of times we have intentions for things that we want. A lot of times we have dreams, we have a vision for the things that we want, but we don't know how we're gonna get there yet. And not being able to see the path fully doesn't mean that the path won't unfold in its own way, in its own time. I say that to so that you don't lose hope. I say that so that you remain hopeful even though you don't know how you're gonna get there. When you have a dream when you have a vision when you can see something that you that, that sparks your interest and you and you sense that it's your it, it's where you're supposed to go hold it in your mind hold it in your heart feel it with gratitude for the fact that it's on its way you know i was talking to you guys before the call started about how this whole ranch unfolded and you know moving to the strength camp ranch and how I really didn't do anything to make that happen. It was the weirdest thing. I had this intention. I had this dream since the end of COVID, since COVID started, that I wanted to move there. And I just held it in my imagination. I just held it in my heart. And I said to myself, if it's to be, God will let it be. And I even prayed that way. I say, God, if this is of you, allow it to unfold. If it's not, just take it away from me. A lot of times we, our desires for ourselves aren't even the best desires. A lot of times we have desires that we think that we want. I know I've been there. There are things that I thought that I want. And I was really excited about it, but I allowed, I allowed, I put it in God's hands. And later on, he showed me, you didn't, you didn't really want that. You thought you wanted it. And I let you believe that you wanted it but you wouldn't have been happy with that. And when I look back, I'm, there, there's an old country song, there's a country song, that I think by uh, Darius Rucker, where he says, you know, thank God for all the, all the dreams that I didn't achieve. The whole song is about thank God for all the things that didn't happen. And it's a really cool song because he had all these dreams for things that he wanted to happen and they didn't happen. And in retrospect, he's like, good thing I didn't marry that girl. Good thing I didn't go to that college. Good, all the things that he wanted that he was so upset about, he looks back and, and you know, experiencing his life as he experiences it today, he looks back and he's like, wow, good thing God didn't give me those things. So I say that so, you know, I want you to have hope, but I don't want you to have attachment. I don't want you to feel like it needs to happen or you have to force it to happen. Hold it in your heart and allow it to unfold the way it's supposed to unfold naturally. I often use this analogy from a movie, a really good movie uh, that I saw when I was a kid. I think it was called uh, Indiana Jones. It was an Indiana Jones movie. And it, he was in a temple. He, had to, he was looking for like the lost something, the Indiana Jones and the lost thing. And he was on this adventure to go find this lost thing. And he had to go through all kinds of obstacles in order to get that thing. And in one scene, 
he was on this side of the, there was a large chasm he had to cross, right? It was like a dark pit. And he was on this side of it. And he had to get on the other side of it. And he noted, noticed that the map says, you got to go that way. But he's looking and he's like, how am I going to get over there? I don't know how I'm going to do it. And so he, in the movie, took a step of blind faith. And what he does in that movie is he just puts his foot out over the chasm and then all of a sudden a big a, like a big pillar comes up boom and catches his foot and he's like wow okay so i stepped out in faith and then he took another step boom and, and it caught his other foot and the whole idea was you have to be able to step out in faith into that abyss and if it's to be god will support you there will be a support system there for you it, you know it's good it for the ego, the ego wants strategy, the ego wants confirmation, wants affirmation, wants clarity, wants uh, sh wants sureness. But oftentimes that's a hindrance. Sometimes it's good to take take action in the direction of your dream, even though you don't know how it's going to happen. Right. So, again, I don't I can't give you specifics, but. Maybe taking that job, right? Maybe taking that job and starting to save up your money. And you know what? The weirdest things happen when you just, when you, when you just do what's in front of you, but you hold in your mind the, the, the end goal, weird things happen. Weird things happen. You could take this job and, you know, rather than taking a job and being like, oh, this sucks. I'm never going to save up enough money. I don't really love this job. You go in with a good attitude. And then at the job, you meet someone, right? Maybe a customer comes in and the customer is a, is a pilot, right? And you, you find out that he's a pilot. You start talking to him. Hey, yeah, I'm actually saving up to go to pilot school. And he might say, well, my good friend owns a, 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 a pilot school. And maybe I can give, maybe I give him a call for you, right? He sees you, he sees you have a good attitude. He maybe comes into the business every once in a while. He sees this kid, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna give my friend a call. There's a young man that would like to go to your, your pilot school. He only has half of the price. Would you be able to work something out with him? And that guy might hit you up and say, hey, young man, I, my friend told me a little bit about you. You know, the cost of the school is so-and-so, but I'll let you work it off over time. He, like the craziest shit like that happens. It happened like that to me so many different times in my life where I didn't know what was going to happen, how I was going to get there, but I just kept doing what was in front of me and all of a sudden opportunity just shows up. So number one, just to wrap it up, to come full circle, you got to fill yourself with the sense of gratitude for the thing, whether it comes or not. Be grateful even for the seed of inspiration. Being grateful just for the inspiration of the thing, just for the fact that God placed that seed in your heart, that's a, that's a great step. That's a great place to begin. Begin with that. Begin with that small seed in your heart and be grateful for it, just for the idea. I know that sounds crazy. It's like, Elliot, how can I be grateful for the thing and it's not here yet? Don't be grateful for the thing. Be grateful for the inspiration. Wow, thank you, God, for placing this desire in my heart. If it truly be of you and you want this to bear fruit in my life, I trust that you will open doors for me. And you, you know, Christ says, knocking, knock and I will answer, right? Asking you will receive. It doesn't mean be a beggar, right? It doesn't mean be a you know, needy beggar, please, please, please. It just means, hey, this seems like a worthy path. It seems like something that will be worthwhile in my life. I think God is calling me in this direction. If it be so, open doors. Ask God to open doors for me, open doors for me. Have that gratitude. Be fully engaged in everything that you do up until the point when you get there. Meaning, you got to fill up your cup. You got to fill up your space to such a degree that it overflows. I was thinking about the ranch today and how it how it unfolded in my life, and how all of a sudden I'm moving there. And I think about this house. I fill this house up. It's the craziest thing. This happened to me a number of times in terms of houses. Once I decided that, okay, this is my home, because I did it with a rental house. Once I just, and I did it with this house. Once I decided, okay, this is my home, and I start caring for, I start loving this home. When I started loving this home, I, you know, what I mean, when I say loving, I mean like fill it up, do the best that you can with what you got right where you are. Once you start doing that, it's like your cup is filling up. And it's going to get to a brim. It's going to get to the point where it's like, okay, well, you know, you did everything that you can here, kind of running into a roadblock. Then you know what God does so that you, your container, so that you can, so you can have more. He gives you a bigger cup. He gives you a bigger space. He keeps giving me a bigger house. Every time I fill up the house that I'm in, 
meaning I'm doing the best that I can with what I got and, I, and I'm grateful for it. All of a sudden he's like, bang. And all of a sudden now I'm looking at this house and we're about to move. I'm like, I didn't realize how small this house is. I really am outgrowing it. My family has outgrown it. There's so much potential that I have in my life that I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck because I'm stuck in this place. But I, I didn't even think of it that way. I was just like grateful for what I got. Then all of a sudden, boom, here's something new. Here's something bigger for you to fill up. It's going to be the same way for you. Don't stress. Don't overthink. Don't try to force it. Be grateful for what you have. Be, be faithful in your actions each day, just like Indiana Jones. Be faithful in your actions. Take action fully. Hold the image of your dream in your mind and in your heart. And do every day what you can to its best degree because doors will open for you that way. It's all about attitude. If you go about the two worst things that you could do, just to wrap this up, the two worst things you could do is be needy, meaning like, you hanker for it, right? Last week, we were talking about lust. Lust is not just about the body. You know, we often think of terms of lust. lust. Lust is an inordinate desire for something that's not yours. That's really what it is. An inordinate desire for something that you're just not, just not yours. You can't have that or you're not ready to have that. Don't be too lustful about it. And, and in the same way, right? Lustful is, is projection. In the same way, do not scorn what you do have. Do not scorn your, your current situation. Do not scorn the job that you have. Do not scorn your lowly position because it is through, it's in that soil. It's in that dirt. It's in that darkness that the, that the plant, this, the flower of your future is going to arise. So take care of that and nourish that soil, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.